what you are about to watch may make you question everything you thought you knew. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Now today we're gonna to be talking about a lot of different types of conspiracy theories. We're gonna be talking about Cardi B and some possible connections to MK Ultra. And we're even gonna be going out into the world and exploring a conspiracy involving one of my favorite places ever, Target. Now before we get started, I just have to mention that all of these are theories, none of them are facts, and they're not meant to hurt any company or person. All right, let's get started. Now I know what you're thinking, Shane, how is there a conspiracy theory about mattress stores? Well, I'm gonna let you know that this is one of the most convincing theories I have ever heard, and this is also why I had to do that legal statement at the beginning of this video. Now, if you look around your city, you've probably noticed how many mattress stores there are. When you go to Google and you type in why are there, one of the first results is so many mattress stores. And you've probably noticed when you walk by them, there's nobody inside. Now, one of the mattress stores that you see most frequently is called Mattress Firm. Well, just check out this theory that was posted on Reddit. Mattress Firm is some sort of giant money laundering scheme. They are fucking everywhere and always empty. I remember seeing four mattress firms all on each corner of an intersection once. There is no way there's such a demand for mattresses. And then they posted a Google Maps link and it was insane. Yeah. 20 results for mattress firms, all in the same location. Some of them are literally across the street from each other. Now, the way I found out about this conspiracy was actually through my cameraman and friend, Andrew. He told me a couple years ago he was visiting his hometown in Algonquin, and he noticed that there were three mattress firms on the same street. So I decided to pull up Google Maps and check it out myself. All right, mattress firm near Algonquin. Boom three on the same street. Now, just to show you how close they are to each other, let's look at the satellite view. All right, here's the first door. Now we're just gonna go up the street, two clicks, and then boom, there's the second one. I mean, that's crazy, and he's not the only person that has noticed this. There are tons of videos of people driving around their city showing how close and how many mattress firms there are. I need a mattress. There's a store. I need a mattress. There's another store. It's a good day to buy a mattress. So I got mattress stores everywhere to choose from. I need a mattress. Hey, it's another store. Now the Reddit theory said that mattress stores might actually be laundering money and that's why there's so many of them all right so first let's talk about money laundering and what that means so if you get money through doing illegal things like selling drugs or guns or terrorism or prostituting you make a lot of money that you don't want traced you don't want the cops to find out what you're doing you don't want to get taxed on it so you have to find a way to hide the money and sometimes you can do that by buying a business for example years ago Al Capone one of the biggest gangsters of all time decided to put all of his illegal money he made into law Laundry mats. Now, laundry mats are a cash flow business, right? People come in, they pay with cash, they get their quarters, they do their laundry, they leave. Well, that way he could say, oh, wow, we got $10,000 today from people doing their laundry. Let's put that in the books. Okay, great. When in reality, no, they probably made $1,000. And that is where the name laundering came from, from the word laundry mats. So the theory is that mattress stores might be the new laundry mat. Think about it this way. You only buy mattresses once every seven to 10 years. So why are there more mattress stores on one street than there are grocery stores or Starbucks? There is another mattress firm. I kid you not. There is two mattress firms in the same basic complex, folks. Also, there's no customers ever inside of the stores because the stores aren't real. They're just a cover up. Once again, just a theory, not a fact. Don't sue me. Now, when people are laundering money in banks, they usually separate it into $10,000 chunks and then they'll put it in a bunch of different banks. So when you think about the mattress stores, it would kind of make sense why there was three on the same street because maybe they're all owned by the same person and he's spreading his money out three different ways so he doesn't look so suspicious. Oh, and just a side note, another way to hide money that you've gotten illegally is by hiding it in different places in your house. Well, guess what the number one place to hide money is? Mattresses. I'm just saying, it's a weird coincidence. But now that you know this, I bet when you drive around your city, you'll notice the crazy amount of mattress stores 
and the crazy amount of no customers inside of them. Another mattress firm. What is going on? It's an infestation. Cardi B has blown up this year. She's become one of the most famous people in the world, and it happened very fast. Her hit song, Bodak Yellow, only came out in June of last year. But she's already nominated for Grammys on every single magazine cover, and one of the most famous rappers ever. Now this clip I'm gonna show you, I didn't take seriously at all, but the more I watched it, the more weird it seemed. This is her being interviewed on a red carpet, and then this happens. Feeling great, I feel nervous, a little bit overwhelmed. I feel a little shaky, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with me. No, no, but it's good, no, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. You gonna it's be good, good. It's, it's a good feeling. look great. Weird, right? Like maybe she was just joking or something, but isn't it weird that she went into that hypnotic trance and then when she came out of it, she didn't even reference it? Like she didn't laugh or say like, haha, sorry, that was a joke. Just watch it again. I feel a little shaky, I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with me. No, no, but it's good, no, it's good. It's weird, right? Like, the more you watch it, the more you're like, what? Now this got a lot of people saying that there might be some ties with her and the Illuminati, or maybe she's under mind control. I mean, she did become extremely famous very fast, which the Illuminati tends to be able to make happen. Well, first there's a video of her from before she got really famous where she said this. I love my family, but man, Illuminati, which one of my cousins you want for that dick here? <laughs> Well, then she posted a video on her Instagram where she was doing the devil horn with her hand. And then there's tons of other pictures out there of her doing the devil horn or her doing the 666 by her eye. In this video, she's singing something in Spanish and you can clearly hear her say the word Illuminati. Mucho me quieren va, pero no voy a caer. Mucho me quieren va, pero no voy a caer. Nintendo, Nintendo. Bye, como el Luminari. Well, that was on March 10th, 2016. And then one year later, in June of 2017, Bodak Yellow came out and became one of the biggest hits of all time. Now, Cardi has talked about the Illuminati a lot throughout her career. Bye, como el Luminari. <laughs> but one thing she said during a live stream was pretty scary. If something happened to me, just know that the government tried to kill me because I believe that America be trying to kill you. So she basically said that when her parents turn 60, she's gonna move them out of the US and send them to the Dominican Republic. I want to move my parents out of America. Like, let me tell you something. Like my grandmother from my mother's side, she died when she was 75 because she used to live here in America. If you go to the island country, people be 105 years old, 100 and some shit years old. So she's basically saying that the US is trying to kill you soon. Now her reasoning is the food industry. She thinks that organic food is a joke. How do lettuce and how do fruits last so long out here? How? How does it travel from places to places and last so long? I don't give a fuck if they say that the chicken and the food is organic. I don't believe it's organic. Like I don't believe nothing here is organic. I feel like they are trying to kill you. I mean, she's not wrong. The amount of preservatives that we're getting on our food, the amount of chemicals that they're putting in the air right over our heads. It's not a surprise that people in the US die sooner than people outside. So like my grandmother, she was diabetic, right? Like they used to give her 10 to 12 pills a day. How is that normal? So that's why I feel like this country just, just they be wanting to kill people. So many things that I just don't be understanding and I'm, and I'm realizing it. Now I got this email from a viewer named Julie. She said, what if these famous people aren't cloned, but they're hypnotized? I mean, the Illuminati could completely control what they said and did. And then she went on to talk about the movie Get Out, where all those people in the movie were being hypnotized and controlled, and they'd have moments of snapping out of it. The chores have become my sanctuary. Who's controlling it? Well, if you look back at that clip of her on the red carpet, you look behind her, you see two women and a man who are not looking that way, but when she starts to glitch, they look over, and then Cardi comes back to normal. No, no, but it's good. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. You go it's good. good. It's 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 good. It's
But then what if one of the celebrities goes rogue and they break out of their hypnosis and they spend so long being a puppet that they don't even know who they are anymore and then they act out. And if you think about it, that seems to happen quite a lot, especially to extremely famous musicians. And all of a sudden, Britney Spears came in and sat in my chair and said, I want to shave my hair off. She had no emotions in her face. So the way I found out about this theory was super random. One morning, I was watching a YouTuber named Alicia Marie, and she was vlogging her day, and then this happened. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. 12 13 p.m. Guys, I really need to change my background. It's still Christmas themed. Wait, oh my god. Wait, do you see that? What is that? Is someone recording me? Wait, on camera, you see that like blinking thing? I don't see that in person at all. <gasps> what? Yeah, weird, right? I had never heard of anybody saying that they noticed a blinking red light on their phone. Well, then after that, I started looking into it, and it's on all the iPhone X's. Now, of course, the theory is that that light means that. It is recording you at all times. But then some people are saying, no, 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 that's just the face ID and it's always on because it's looking for your face. And that makes sense. It does look to be making a cylinder shape around your face. And it's not just one light. This is what it looks like in the dark when you use your face ID. Thousands of little dots going all around you coming from that one little light. Okay, so theory's over, right? It's just the face ID light. But then I saw this. So this is the iPhone and I'm guessing you guys saw the, the flashing red light up there. It has to be the, the camera. Huh? Like that doesn't make any sense. The iPhone 7 does not have a face ID. Why is there still the red blinking light that's hidden? I mean, we pretty much already know that our iPhone is recording everything we're saying. Do you record and store everything I say and text on my phone? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I can't answer that. But who would have thought it would be recording everything it sees? So of course I started having a full-on mental breakdown and panic attack. And then I saw a user on Reddit say this. That's the proximity sensor. It's how the phone knows you're holding it up to your face when you're on a phone call so it can black out the screen and prevent your cheek from pressing buttons. It uses infrared, which is the reason your camera can see it, but your eyes can't. And then they went on to say that you can also see this blinking red light in your remote controls. You can't see it in real life, but you can only see it with phones and cameras. Which makes a lot of sense because your remote control is based on a sensor. So this theory might not be true, but I still believe that my phone is recording everything I'm saying and doing. After what Apple did with admitting that they purposely slow down our old phones, I don't trust anything. Suri, would you lie to me? I'd rather not say. Now, we have talked about 9-11 conspiracy theories before. 9-11 theories are what got me into conspiracies. Wait, go wait, sir. Ah! Oh! Ah! And it's not just me. A huge percentage of the population believes these theories, too. I mean, even President Bush has slipped up a few times and almost said the word conspiracy himself. Mr. President, I do want to get right to the news of the terrorism in Boston. Well, at first, uh, you know, I was deeply concerned uh, that there might have been a organized plot. Uh, this could have been, uh, you know, another cons uh, organized, highly organized attack on the country. <gasps> like, why would he even think to say that word? Uh, you know, another cons uh, Now, one of the biggest theories is that it wasn't just planes flying into the buildings, that there was bombs planted as well. But of course the government said, no, 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 it was just the two terrorists in the planes. But some people think that Bush and the government actually coordinated it themselves, and that there were bombs placed in the building beforehand because they wanted both buildings to come down. The building has collapsed. That tower just came down. Now, of course, the theory is that the government created this awful disaster so that we would be okay with going to war with Afghanistan. But today we're gonna to be focusing on the bombs. The day that 9-11 happened, everybody was saying that they heard bombs. The ladies that are with me were in the World Trade Center on the, on, in the first building and escaped through the lobby where they report they believe there was a bomb in the lobby. And as we were coming out, we passed the lobby. There was no lobby. So I believe the, the bomb hit the lobby first. Even firemen said it. Bomb in the building start clearing out. Bomb in the building start clearing out. Even Donald Trump, who had a lot of power in New York at the time, said he thought it was bombs. I happen to think that they had not only a plane, but they had bombs that exploded almost simultaneously. Now this is where it gets crazy. 
One of the survivors from 9-11 was a janitor at the World Trade Center. His name was William Rodriguez, and he had worked there for 20 years. Now, he came out and said that he heard bombs before the plane even hit. I believe that censorship started from the very beginning because when I was telling my story, they told me, oh, cut this out, cut this out. It was the first hijacked plane that hit the... It was the first hijacked plane. No, hello, that was an explosion before 9-11, before the plane hit the tower. Now in 2004, the powers in charge came out and said that there were no bombs. Well, just listen to this audio clip and tell me that you don't hear a bomb going off before the buildings collapse. People at their gas pumps who turned to look at the smoke that was coming from the city. So stepping out of bodegas and stores to look. Come on, that's a bomb. You could see explosions coming out of the sides of the buildings. But of course, the government says no. Now, this is where it gets really crazy, but somehow seems believable. Some people believe that there were no planes at all and that it was just bombs and that all the clips that we saw in the news of planes flying into the towers were CGI. I know, it's crazy, but just look at some of these videos. The airplane did disappear like a bad special effect. Exactly like a bad special effect. A good special effect would have parts exploding and bouncing off and tumbling to the streets below. First, let's look at this clip of what people are calling ghost plane. The plane appears to pass through steel columns and the steel and concrete floors like a ghost. It doesn't twist, bend, slow down, break, or explode. Now, this plane goes right through the building like a knife through butter. And I know what you're thinking, Shane, yeah, it's a plane going really fast. Of course it will go right through a building. Well, years before this happened, the government was testing to see what would happen if they flew a plane into a big metal wall. And it was at the speed of which a normal plane flies. And this happened. It's doing 500 miles an hour. It just disappeared into dust. The plane disintegrated, disappeared. But then when it hit the World Trade Center, it went right through. No issues. I said, how could a plane, even a plane, even a 767 or 747 or whatever it might have been, how could it possibly go through the steel? Now look at this angle of it. You'll see the plane flying through the building and then you'll see the nose of the plane come out the other side. Okay, you saw that, right? The big nose of the plane come right through the other side. Completely in one side and out the other. It's physically impossible for the nose of a Boeing 767 airplane to emerge intact. Well, after the smoke cleared, it was seen that there was no exit hole. That's right, no exit hole where the nose of the plane supposedly went right through it, nothing. And that's why a lot of people think that it might have been CGI. And this is the other weird part. In most of the clips that are online, it goes black for a split second right when the plane hits. Well, this person took all of the news clips and synced them together at the same time. And this happened. Yeah, all of them black for a split second. Not to mention that on some news channels, you didn't even see a plane. You just saw the moment of the explosion right afterwards. And the one second that would show the fate of Pinocchio's nose has been edited out. Why would the now Day brothers remove that little piece of video? It didn't show the moment of the plane actually hitting. It like would go somewhere else or it would cut off or something. Maybe that's because there was no planes and it was just bombs. Not to mention another clip that was circulating that was on the news where you can literally see one of the wings of the planes disappear. Just disappear, glitch. Now listen, I don't know if I believe the theory that all the planes on the news were just CGI'd. That seems a little far-fetched, but I definitely believe there were bombs. I mean, come on. Once the plane hit the top, then that's when the bomb is going off on the first floor. So who are you gonna believe? The government who lies to you about everything? Or people who are literally there? Uh... Okay, this is my favorite theory of all time, and I 100% believe in it. Have you ever been into a store and you tried on an outfit and you looked in the dressing room mirror and you thought, wow, I look great, I'll buy it. And then you took it home and you put it on and you said, ew. <laughs> yeah, that might have to do with the mirrors in the dressing rooms. Now on the show Shark Tank, there was a company called Skinny Mirror. And if you go to their website, it says this. 
The skinny mirror offers a subtle and believable slimming reflection, 5 to 10 pounds. And then they show comparison pictures of what you look like versus what you look like in the skinny mirror. Oh, and by the way, their slogan is, you are beautiful. What? They also have a section on their website where retail stores can buy mirrors from them. The skinny mirror is an ideal solution for dressing rooms. The subtle yet believable slimming reflection will improve the attitude of your customer's self-image, body image, increasing overall sales. So that's not even a theory. Some stores might possibly have them. But here's where my theory comes in. I love Target. I buy everything from Target. But I look so much better in Target dressing room mirrors, and it makes me buy clothes, and then I take them home, and I hate the way they look. So I want to go to Target and investigate and see if they're using skinny mirrors. Okay, so we are in the car on our way to Target. You have no idea what we're doing, right? No, I, no, I thought we were going to Taco Bell. We'll do that after Target. We also have in the back seat, Ryland's sister Morgan. That's me. How do you feel when you look at a mirror? Oh, it's not good. <laughs> Well, we're gonna go in the dressing room, take pictures in our clothes, and then go back home and take pictures in the normal mirror. All right, let's go. The skinny mirror design offers a subtle, believable slimming reflection designed to help you feel good about your body. All right, let's do my least favorite thing in the world. Let's go look in some mirrors. There it is. Oh my god. <laughs> Me when I see the fitting room. Okay, I'm just gonna pretend like I'm trying on this. Jane, this is um, a plus size girl shirt. I know. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, where's the mirror? I mean, honestly, without even taking the picture yet, I can tell you that I am not this thin. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Ew. <laughs> okay, I need to take it at the same exact angle that I'm gonna take it at home. Okay. So, right here. Do you wanna, t <laughs> I was gonna say, do you wanna take one too, but no. Oh, Morgan. Oh, that is not a thing. <laughs> you wanna do like a side angle too? Oh yeah, good idea. Hold on, let me breathe for a second so I can suck it in. Take one in this mirror too. Oh, this one's worse. <laughs> Let me just see if I feel skinnier. Mm, I can't tell. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go home and take the same pictures and see if we look fatter. <laughs> Alright, you ready to go to the mirror? Let me button my pants back up first. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go to the one upstairs. Maybe can you have it straight? Let's put them side by side. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. That's crazy. It's like in the arms. It's like. <laughs> that just triggered me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. My legs look so much smaller in the Target one. It is drastically <gasps> different. Everything. Like if we zoomed in the Oop, way triggered. that. triggered. <laughs> now listen, this could be like a lighting situation. Yeah, either okay. they have bomb lighting or skinny ass mirrors. All right, here's the next one. <gasps> My legs look so much smaller in the Target one. All right, now let's do you. You ready? <gasps> oh my god. Like in this one, a boy would be like, yes. In this one, a boy would be like, oh my god, bye. <laughs> no, that's Tinder versus real life. <laughs> okay, so let's go to the other one. Oh my gosh. I look like I could have like a thigh gap in this one. <laughs> it's not like so drastic that it's insane. It's five to 10 pounds. That's what the skinny mirrors say, five to 10 pounds. I don't think Target says they use skinny mirrors because I think legally they have to. It's what, it good... would say objects in mirror seem smaller than they appear? <laughs> <laughs> Me on social media. <laughs> well, mystery solved. But still, just a theory, not a fact. Don't sue me, Target, I love you. Okay, bye. <laughs> Yeah, the Tide Pod Challenge. Something that has been going so viral lately, and I just didn't know why. Many are looking to become what's called YouTube famous, but a local doctor says this could cost you your life. 
Now this became such a huge story that Tide even put out a bunch of statements on Twitter about it, and they even made a PSA saying, don't eat Tide Pods. The Tide Pod challenge was everywhere. You would think that hundreds and thousands of people were dying every day from eating Tide Pods, but then when you actually look at it, the numbers have gone down. And you can see in 2017, there were 12,000 calls. That's down a thousand from the year before that. Also, to put in perspective, over 20,000 people called because they accidentally ingested hand sanitizer. 17,000 people called because they ingested too much toothpaste. And 16,000 people called because they ate too much deodorant. So in the grand scheme of things, people eating Tide Pods isn't as crazy and widespread as the news is making it. But Tide Pod sales have actually gone up. The more people talking about Tide Pods, the more people buying them. So what if Tide hired a marketing campaign, get our name out there more to teenagers, and the marketing team said, ooh, uh, teenagers love YouTube, they love challenges. What if we created the Tide Pod challenge? Obviously nobody would really do it, but it could become like a meme. Teenagers love memes, and if that happened, it worked. I haven't thought about Tide Pods at all, ever. And now it's literally in my brain. I hear the word Tide Pod five million times a day. But the even bigger theory is one of the most fucked up things I have ever heard and definitely the most fucked up theory I have ever said on my channel. So if you've ever been to the dollar store, you've probably seen a bottle for Fabuloso. And if you look at it, it looks just like juice or Gatorade, but it's not, it's cleaner. But a lot of people have mistaken it for juice and it's ended in very bad ways. Now it's a reasonable mistake to make, especially when some stores are putting it next to juice. Yeah, that's literally Fabuloso the Cleaner right next to juice. And this isn't the only toxic thing in stores that looks edible. Look at this picture of floor cleaner. Looks like a bottle of lemonade or this window cleaner. That literally looks like a bottle of blue soda. And then this one, yep, looks just like juice. There's even this product for your hair that literally says whipped cream. Or this cleaner that is called lemonade. Or this picture of insect spray. Or this picture. Or these energy shots that are not energy shots. And this is the craziest one. This is hair bleach. That's hair bleach. It looks like cereal for kids. And that's where the conspiracy comes in. Overpopulation is a huge problem. Maybe it's all just an extreme form of population control. Thousands of people every year dying from accidentally ingesting things they shouldn't. Nobody can get sued because right on the box it says, do not ingest, even though the bottle looks like children's juice. And it's not just food. There's other little things out in the world that if you're not observant enough, you could die from. Why else would this hand sanitizer be installed here? Or why would this water fountain be right next to an outlet? I don't know, maybe the Tide Pod challenge is a challenge. And maybe it's a challenge from the government. And maybe if you fail it, they didn't want you here. I believe that America be trying to kill you. Well, there you guys go. Hopefully you enjoyed these conspiracy theories. Let me know down in the comments which ones you believe and also what other ones do you want me to talk about? Also, if you want more of these conspiracy theory videos, please give me a thumbs up so I know. And make sure to subscribe to my channel right down below and hit the notification bell so you never miss one. Also, if you didn't know, I do have a line of merch on amazon.com slash Shane Dawson, where you can get your own Illuminati pop socket and you can put it right on your phone that's recording you all day. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go to a mattress store. I got some business to take care of. Bye. Click the links below to watch more conspiracy theory videos at your own risk, of course.